HD with Brian Herzog. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Real Talk HD. I'm Brian Herzog, your host for today's show. Today, we're talking about something that Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and surrounding cities here in Baton Rouge, we need to know about things that can help the public. In studio, we have Global Tax Centers, and they're announcing a plan that can help Louisiana flood victims with filing and amending their tax returns. In studio right now, I have Mr. Nathaniel Cosley, Jr., Welcome to the program, sir. Thank you, Brian. You know, this has been such an amazing event, the uh, Great Flood, 2016. All over the world, people in Japan know about it. All the footage is probably one of the most documented uh, events this year. And your company is stepping up to the plate and trying to be of service to folks in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, surrounding areas. Tell us about it. So global, what we're planning to do, Brian, is we figured out we've got to do something to help out in this crisis. Our company was based out of uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I personally was affected by the flood. Our office was wiped out, a total loss. But we figured we got to figure out a way to give back to the residents here. So what we did, we announced a plan to step up and provide a flat fee, tax preparation fee for anyone who wants to amend their 2015 return. Or if they haven't filed their 2015, we will uh, do those returns at that flat rate price. Right. Now, I mean, before we get too far into this so that the folks can understand who you are, because, like, you know, you're saying uh, this is some things that we wanted to do. What is your role with, with Global Tax Centers? I am the founder, president, CEO, chief cook, okay. butcher, baker, candlestick right. maker with Global. Uh, Global was an idea that I came up with in August of 2015. Uh, prior to that, I was at H&R Block for 11 years, and before starting my own company, I was inducted into the company's Hall of Fame. I ran all of the H&R Blocks in southeast Louisiana for the Baton Rouge, wow. uh, West Baton Rouge, Ponchatoula, Hammond area, approximately 300 tax professionals right. and 25 to 30 offices. Right. So when I started my own company, uh, we based it here in Baton Rouge. We started with three people, myself, right. uh, one of my uh, representatives, and Myron Peterson, who is a guy that I've known for 30 years. We went to Southern together, and we got out here and we started doing taxes. So when this flood came, literally I had to be rescued right. out of my house. Seven feet of water in my house over in Central. Wow. Uh, came out the house tied together like mountain climbers, my wife, my two children, wow. and the water went from our knees up to our, our waist, chest, in about five to ten minutes. If it weren't for the boat, we may not have survived. So that impact, being in a shelter for three days, seeing exactly what this flood had did to people, we had to figure out a way, how can we offer? Because we lost everything. Right. So part of that, we stepped up and we said, hey, we're going to get out here for people that were affected, let them know what the IRS has done. They've given them the opportunity to extend filing their tax returns. You've got corporate filings for payroll taxes in October. You've got uh, uh, taxes for partnerships right. that were due. So they've extended that back until January of next right. year. But they allow you right now to have the opportunity to do those taxes and claim them now yeah. versus waiting till next year. So right. we're providing that service to all the residents in the affected right. areas to provide this flat rate right. tax preparation right. fee. Yeah, so in other words, basically what you're saying is uh, you're, you're basically a Baton Rouge or Louisiana homeboy at this point in time because, because you were caught up inside of this and by being so closely connected to this particular event, by actually being a survivor of it, uh, do you feel that that kind of helped you to kind of inspire you to want to reach out and be of service to folks out there? Absolutely. Uh, if it weren't for what I had gone through and seeing the people helping us, picking us up on the boat, um, I kind of go back and see what was happening in Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge was sort of like a powder keg at the time with the Alton Sterling, our, our police officers that were killed. Wow. Yeah. And I believe this flood was God's way of saying enough is enough. And in that shelter, there was no black, there was no white, there was no Republican, no Democrat. It was just people suffering a tragedy and trying to pull together. In that shelter, we saw people helping each other. We had old and new, and everyone was just talking about how fortunate and how thankful they were to survive. So with that, we had to figure out a way. 
to come back and offer something. It's a small way. We're not like the big companies, H&R Block, Liberty, or Jackson Hewitt, you know, that could have done something, but they didn't. So we stepped up and said, hey, with our three people here in Louisiana, we have 20 representatives across the country. They're pitching in to provide tax preparation to all the affected residents, and we figured this is our way of giving back. You know, there's a lot of people out there like uh, uh, cell phone networks, uh, the electricity, uh, folks with the utilities that are giving folks breaks. I mean, all over the country and uh you know but it's it's only like those real major uh well-funded uh people practically don't even have competitors doing this kind of thing you know and i notice you say a lot of those other folks uh out there uh like the h&r blocks and folks like that uh hadn't stepped up to the plate but hopefully you know by you guys setting the example hopefully who knows maybe it could uh it, it could potentially make a difference uh, but at the same token you know it's it's very important and myself personally i wanted to bring you on to this show because folks got to know what's going on out there and there are people that are displaced there are people that they they're just completely turned upside down they've lost everything they didn't have insurance all kinds of stuff and people are looking for people are looking for resources People are looking for knowledge. So that's, that's why I think it's absolutely, totally appropriate that we brought you on so that we can talk about this. Because, you know, most of the time we're thinking about the federal government, people owing money and different things. Uh, and look, nobody plays with the federal government. <laughs> At the end of the day, you know, you might cut a little corner and do a little late payment with this person, that person. You know, but the federal government, everybody knows that's the real deal. You, you're not going to play, right? That's right, right. Hey? that's right, that's right. <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, so I, I think it's absolutely amazing uh, that this can kind of give people a comfort level that number one, they don't have to just be pushed up against a wall. You guys have solutions so that uh, people won't be under so much scrutiny and pressure with regard to their taxes. That's correct, that's correct. The fact that you have a casualty and uh, property loss some people may have owed money to the United States government to the IRS uh, during the tax season, but with this property casual loss, they may now be able to get a refund. And in many cases, as we know, FEMA is capping out uh, the damages at 33000 Right. Uh, most people are forced to apply for an SBA loan personally. You can get up to 200000 or if you had a business, up to $2 million. Right. But that's just like applying for a loan. Even though the interest rates are low, 1.5%, right. you still have to qualify. So the last thing on people's mind is, I'm in a crisis now. I've got to qualify to get the right. money to rebuild. Right. So with that in mind, right. you know, the fact that now they push the deadline back for the filing and people can claim those losses, here's an opportunity to fill the gap. A lot of people are walking away from their homes, Brian, because the damages to the home to repair it do not add up to the amount of money that FEMA is right. given. So people have two choices. If they don't get the loan, they walk away from their house. Some people are going into forced foreclosure right. as a result. But you know, this is our small way right. of saying that if we could provide and through this property and casualty loss, you're able to get some money back to either make a decision to stay in the home, uh, get it gutted and live there until you can do it piece right. by piece. It's something, you know, something right. to the residents of Louisiana. Right. Uh, something amazing like this. I mean, it's got to be something that people are you finding people that just completely didn't have a clue about this option? Absolutely. It wasn't until the, the IRS actually announced it, I believe, August 16th about the declared national disaster. So there's still a lot of people out there who are just trying to get the stuff out of their home. Right. You know, in my own personal case, you know, I'm in the tax industry right. and I'm aware of it. But the first three days in a shelter and then I'm staying right. with uh, one of my fraternity brothers home right. and, and in the process every day of just going back to the damaged area. It looks like it's right. Beirut, Lebanon. Right. Everything is just destroyed right. in our neighborhood. And at that time, how can you think about taxes, right? right? But now it's a valid option for those people who did not get approved by the SBA mm -hmm. loan, who didn't get the full amount from FEMA, maybe this may be an option that with these property and casualty right. losses, they may be able to get a refund where before they had a balance right. due. Well, Nate, thanks for coming on to the show. We're going to come back in just a moment. We're going to bring some more of your representatives and see what they have to say and see how they can fill the folks in. Thank you so much for, okay. for coming through. And just after the break, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have more people, more folks from the uh, Global Tax Centers are going to be talking more about some of these different various options that you may have. If you feel like you're pressed up against the wall, we're getting ready to free you up just after the break.